A cordial greeting? Today is Friday, May 31, 2024. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. Today I would like to talk about two areas of interest. The first is located to the south of Guatemala and Chiapas, where a low-pressure system has developed and has a low probability of cyclonic development as it moves westward. Additionally, in this video, we will discuss a low-pressure area expected to develop south of Jamaica and east of Nicaragua, which could result in significant rainfall events for parts of Cuba, Jamaica, Haiti, the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, and the Bahamas, starting early next week. At the end of the video, we will talk about when the first cyclone of the 2024 Atlantic hurricane season might develop. I also want to remind you that the hurricane season starts tomorrow, June 1, 2024, in the Atlantic Basin. To stay informed during this hurricane season, I invite you to subscribe to the Hurricane Info YouTube channel. Go to the bottom of the video, click the red subscribe button, and then click the bell to receive notifications when we post new videos. I count on your support, and I will be here throughout the season to keep you informed in the Caribbean, Central America, Mexico, and the United States. Returning to the Western Pacific region, you can see in yellow where the National Hurricane Center has marked an area with a low probability of cyclonic development over the next seven days. This is associated with a low pressure system located south of El Salvador and Guatemala. As of this morning, the National Hurricane Center gives it a 10% chance of developing into a tropical cyclone. Yesterday the probability was 20%, meaning the chances of development have decreased in the last few hours, because models no longer show favorable conditions for cyclonic development. This can be seen in the ensemble members of the European model, where only one develops a tropical depression, but all show a westward track over the open waters of the Western Pacific without affecting Central America or Southern Mexico. Similarly, the ensemble members of the American model do not develop a tropical cyclone and maintain this low pressure on a westward trajectory over the open waters of the Pacific Ocean. This is definitely not good news for Central and Southern Mexico, where a heat wave and drought conditions are being recorded. The first opportunity for significant rainfall in the region seems to be at the end of June or the beginning of July. Long-term projections indicate that some rain could occur in eastern and southern Mexico by late June and early July. However, the outlook is different for northwestern Mexico, where abnormally dry conditions are expected to persist throughout the summer. Here at Hurricane Info, we are attentive to our friends in Mexico and will inform them of any rainfall events that could bring relief to the drought and heat affecting them. Returning to the Caribbean region, we currently have the second tropical wave of the season located just north of Colombia and south of Haiti. This tropical wave will be moving westward over the next few days, interacting with the Central American monsoon trough. We will be watching this area closely over the next few days, as a low-pressure system is expected to develop from the interaction of the tropical wave and the monsoon trough. By early next week, this low-pressure system should move northwestward over parts of the Greater Antilles, bringing significant rainfall to eastern Cuba, Jamaica, Haiti, the Dominican Republic, and Southern Bahamas. Some rain is also expected for Puerto Rico. In the last video on my YouTube channel, I mentioned that the GFS model had been showing the possible development of a strong low-pressure system with some potential for cyclonic development in recent days. However, I also mentioned that the GFS model has a bias toward developing systems early in the season in this region of the Caribbean, and typically this development does not occur. So, it seems that it was another false alarm from the GFS model, as anticipated. To put your mind at ease, you can see that the ensemble members of the GFS model do not show the development of a tropical cyclone in the Caribbean. For added confidence in this forecast, the ensemble members of the European model also do not develop any tropical cyclones. Therefore, the atmospheric conditions in the Caribbean are not yet favorable for cyclonic formation. However, this could change in the coming weeks. At the end of this video, I will talk about the changes expected for the Atlantic and Caribbean. I wanted to show you the rainfall projections according to the GFS model. Today, Friday, some rains will affect eastern Nicaragua and Honduras. Eventually, this rain will move towards Jamaica, Haiti, and eastern Cuba, where a rainy Saturday is expected. This rainfall event will extend until Sunday with a wider coverage of precipitation over eastern and central Cuba, Jamaica, Haiti, and western Dominican Republic, as well as southern Bahamas. The rainfall event will continue affecting the region during the night of Sunday, Monday, and then between Tuesday and Wednesday, also affecting Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, and Haiti. So, we are talking about a rainfall event starting on Saturday and extending until Tuesday. The highest risk of flooding remains over Jamaica, eastern Cuba, Haiti, and the Dominican Republic. Here are the accumulated rainfall projections, where for some regions of Jamaica, 
Haiti, and the Dominican Republic, between 125 to 300 mm of accumulated rainfall could be recorded. For eastern Cuba, around 50 mm, southern Bahamas between 50 to 70 mm, and for eastern Dominican Republic between 80 to 125 mm. These are accumulated rainfall projections until next Wednesday. For Puerto Rico, between 1 to 4 inches of rain is anticipated from Sunday to Tuesday next week. To talk a bit about the changes expected in the Atlantic, it is important to know that starting from the second and third week of June, a favorable phase of the Madden-Julian Oscillation will move across the Atlantic and over the African continent. Specifically, during the third and fourth week of June, conditions favorable for tropical cyclone formation in the Atlantic could be generated. So, we suspect that during the second half of June, we will be watching the Western Caribbean region for the possibility of developing a low-pressure system with cyclonic development potential. Remember that here at Hurricane Info, I will be attentive to keep you informed of the upcoming changes, and in the coming days, I will record new videos to discuss the latest activity projections for this year. Also, remember that we continue with our sponsorship plan where you can join as a member of the YouTube channel and support this project with a small monthly contribution. You could receive some additional benefits. If you are interested, go to the bottom of the video, click the blue join button, and see the different sponsorship plans we have at Hurricane Info. Your contribution will be of great help to this project. Well, with that, I bid you farewell until the next video. I hope everyone has an excellent weekend.